Today, we are going to travel to one of the most beautiful cities of Russia, Kazan, the capital of the Republic of Tatarstan. It is an ancient city in the middle Volga region. Over a thousand years ago, a fortress was built here, and that's how the history of the city began. The Kazan Kremlin was an outpost for the Golden Horde and the Kazan Khanate. The main mosque of that time has not remained. But in memory of it, in 2005, the Mosque of Kul Sharif was built on this site. It has the capacity of 1,500 people and the outer square can hold another 10,000. The total area of the Kazan Kremlin is 15 hectares. More than 20 football fields in size. Its walls are decorated with towers, while on this territory there are temples and palaces. The Annunciation Cathedral with the bright blue domes was built in the 16th century and is the most ancient architectural monument in the city. The Siyumbike watchtower with a green spire stands nearby. It is one of the so-called leaning towers. The spire has a vertical deviation of almost two meters. To the right of the Kremlin, you can see the park of farmers, as well as an eponymous luxurious palace standing nearby. Just below it, there is the Kremlin embankment. This is a pedestrian area with picturesque views and interesting events. Just at the walls of the Kremlin, there is Millennium Square, one of the biggest in Russia and the whole world. It covers 19,000 square meters. In 2000, the Kazan Kremlin became a UNESCO World Heritage Site and it was when the buildings and surrounding streets received beautiful night illumination. From the initial 13 towers, only eight have remained till nowadays. Among them, there are both the southwestern tower to which we approach now and the Spasskaya tower, the white one with a clock. It is the monument of the 16th century and the main entrance to the fortress. In 1960, the central stadium was built on Millennium Square. To the left you can see the pyramid cultural entertaining center, rising at more than 31 meters. On the peninsula, at the northern edge of the Kremlin Dam, there is the main palace of weddings and a family center named Kazan. The form of the palace resembles a cooking pot named Kazan, a local symbol of a family meal. Commemorative events take place within its walls. The roof of the building has a viewing point. Let's have a look at the place where the Kazanka River flows into the Volga River. The whole city of Kazan is in front of us. Enjoy the view of these waters and the beautiful city standing on the banks.